Right guys, it's DJ Marsh back from Midlands Mount Hedge Radio Monday Night Show Metal Mayhem. I'm here with Rope Walk's lead singer. And uh, yeah, we're at the Midlands Metalheads Metal Fest, Black Country Metal Fest 2013. You've played a little bit earlier. How did your set go, dude? Very well. <laughs> awesomely. Awesomely very well. Any expansion on just that? No, awesomely very well, brilliantly. I enjoyed it. It was very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you've been here since, well, nearly the start. Did you enjoy the previous bands? Any of the bands catch your eye? They were very good, very talented, and good. <laughs> Come on, please. Okay, um, also, um, you've seen some bands since. Kuru been on from Liverpool. What do you think of Kuru? They're our best mates, we love them. Absolutely, they are really brutal metal They're bands. Br brutal, they're so brutal that my mum would not have rabbits because of them <laughs> <laughs> also you guys you got like two EPs out now what inspires your lyrics what is it that inspires you to write the lyrics you write um, the Oxford dictionary <laughs> anything else anything else that makes you inspired um, no just the Oxford dictionary just the Oxford dictionary yeah. Okay, it's um, it's 2013. You've got two EPs out already. You're tearing it up and down the country. You're playing loads of gigs. I've seen you several myself. You always rock how you groove metal with a hardcore influence. Uh, do you think that 2013 is Rope Walk's year? It is, yes, definitely. And 2014. So what do you see coming for you guys in the next couple of years? 2015. <laughs> you got an, inter an interview? Have you got an album planned? Anything like that? No, we're just going to release EPs. Constantly? Constantly. So you're just following in like Crowbar, Down's tradition? Down and out like just releasing EPs because it gets the music to the fans quicker? No, we're going to make an album. I'm lying. <laughs> when can we expect an album from Rope Walk? 2014. Is it going to include anything you've already done or is it all new material? It's all new material. Every single song? Every single song. And... Does Dan know about this? Who's yes, there? everybody knows about it. No, they don't. <laughs> Does Dan know about it? I'm writing it at the moment. On your own? Oh, yeah, obviously, same as all the other songs. So, <laughs> what would you say the main influence behind Rope Walk? Um, main influences, should I say? No, just influence. Uh, Fosters. So you're just drunk constantly, <laughs> all four members of the band writing well, music. I was walking around Nottingham one sunny afternoon. It was a sunny afternoon, like this afternoon, but it's dark now. But I was walking around and uh, I stumbled across a practice place. I walked in with my Fosters, <laughs> nothing else, Fosters, and uh, I decided to sing for them. Were they all together then? You were the last member of the band then to join? I was the last member, yes. So did you feel the odd one out? No, 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 because I was uh, inebriated. You've been welcomed with open arms because of your alcoholism. I don't know. I couldn't see any <laughs> open arms, but I could see the band. I walked in. I said, I'll sing your songs. I'll sort you out. Tenth Effect. They were called Tenth Effect. Yes. Yeah, but they're not. They're called Rope Walk now. Thanks to me. I came up with the name Rope Walk. Did you? Yes. And what inspired you to to um, call the band Rope well, Walk? Well, one day I was uh, pissed on Foster's and... Uh, I was walking to work and uh, I couldn't get to work because the road was closed, but there was a rope and I decided to walk along it. Excellent. What do you think of the other members of the band? D's, Dan, sorry, the on guitar. Do you think he can play guitar or do you think he just, like, just strikes I think, notes? I, I think he's like Jimi Hendrix, Eddie Van Halen, Stevie Vai, nothing like them. <laughs> no, he's good. He's good. How about Anton Bass? He's Ish. been a bassist a long time. He's been, he's been around. He's been around. He's been around a lot. He's been around the circle. It, for a bald man, he's amazing. And how about your drummer, Ant? Ant. Billy. Billy you mean? Billy. That's Billy you. Walker. Ant's the bassist. Billy Walker. I think Billy Walker plays the drums like Saddam Hussein played Iraq. So, what can we get from that? What does that actually mean? Well, he made it quite a successful country. And, and but basically, if we're ever playing a gig and Billy George Bush bursts in through the side doors and tries to take him off drums, we're fucked. But if apart from drums, that, 
apart from that, he played it all right. It's good. Saddam Hussein did a good job. So basically, in the next two years, we can expect an album that you're going to write entirely on your own. Yes, yes. Uh, 2014 release. Yes. Uh, we can expect... What else can we expect? It might be 2013, you don't know. So you almost completed it? Might be a surprise. Who knows? I don't know. Or maybe we should interview some other members of the band and see if we get coherent. If everything comes back the same as your... It's like, this is like a police statement, this is. See if we can get coherent interviews together. I would, but I wouldn't trust them. Yeah, you're the trustworthy one. They all drunk all the time. How they drink far too much, and I wouldn't listen to anything they ever said. How many beers have you had today? Um, one. Do you, prefer, <laughs> do you prefer to? Do you like being on stage sober, or do you prefer to? Have a sober, few? obviously. I've never actually seen you on stage sober. That's because you never seen me on stage. <laughs> I think we have to beg to differ on that one. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for joining me for this uh, exclusive interview, Midlands Mayheads Radio. We have found out a lot about upcoming road walk. And, Audi. Uh, and Audi is pulling up, so we best uh, leave it at that. Uh, thank you for joining me, Pete. And um, all the best to your alcoholism and your... Um, I'm not an alcoholic, I'm all right. And your future I've got success. two dogs. Toto and Floyd. And your future success. Hello, Toto and Floyd. And, and a wife. And a wife. You've Ste got a wife. Stephanie Flo Hayden. Yeah. So thanks, thanks, Pete, for your exclusive interview. Okay. And thanks to your wife and thanks to your dogs. And uh, we look forward... A fish called Dave as well. And a fish called Dave. And we look forward to some more rope walk in the year to come. Excellent. Excellent. Cheers, mate. Thank you.